Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message, They Do Things the Wrong Way. They do things the wrong way. Now, if you don't know any better, you're going to go ahead and co-sign on somebody doing something the wrong way. If you are ignorant, let's say, to how to love make, uh uh-oh, yeah, I'm going to go there. If you're ignorant to how to communicate with the opposite sex or same sex, if you're ignorant to how to do a math equation or you're ignorant when it comes to shopping, you just don't get it or you don't understand something or how about those people who pull something out of a box and they don't bother to read the instructions. So what are you going to end up doing? You're going to end up doing things the wrong way. And when you end up doing things the wrong way, guess what? People start to get upset. People start saying, wait a minute, there's something not right about what you're telling me, what you're doing. Okay. Or where we're headed. Come on. How many people have went in the wrong direction? Okay. Said they knew where they were going, but we went around and around in circles. Okay. For some of you all, this message is not one to upset you or offend you. As always, this message is one to shine the light on some things that we're doing wrong. That's what God does. That's what the people of God does. And that's why some folks can't stand us. Because see, once we figure out the right way, guess what we do? The believer goes out and spreads what he or she has learned. Okay? For so long, some people have a personal belief, if you will, that is not right. It is unethical. It is immoral. And that sort of thing ends up showing up at your doorstep. Okay. It shows up at your workplace. It shows up in your relationship. Some of us, we get frustrated. Why can't you just read a book about this thing? Why can't you just consult with a counselor? Why can't you get the necessary resources? Why can't you read uh, this manual or watch this YouTube video? I mean, really, why is it that now this very mistake or this ignorance or this laziness or what have you is costing us literally hundreds of dollars, Lord Jesus? How many organizations are correcting somebody's mistakes because someone stood up there and convinced everybody to do something the wrong way. How many relationships are ending up in separation and divorce because somebody, I'm going to give you a very specific example. Somebody decides that, okay, after I get to know this person, uh, then we have our intimate moment. This is the way I'm going to do things in the bedroom. And they do that same wrong way over and over again. It's causing the person pain. It's causing the person not to want to be intimate with them again. But they have convinced themselves because somebody back in the day who was doing it the wrong way, who had their own issues, said it was okay. But when somebody comes along and says, this isn't the right way. Now, this may have been the right way for you back in the day with A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, but this is not the right way with me. And you know, people who are, who are accustomed to doing things their way, the wrong way, they will try once again, to persuade you into doing it their way. Okay. So many people have been abused, as I've said in so many audio used Because somebody was selfish, somebody was slow, let's just be real, somebody was ignorant, somebody didn't know any better or whatever, and there they are, caught in a trap that Satan has laid out for them. God said, that's not the right way to do things. I didn't make your body to take that type of abuse, that type of pain or what have you. No, that's not the right way at the organization. So many people have lost their jobs doing it the wrong way. And it's interesting how the veteran employees, the ones who do things wrong, the ones who don't follow uh, protocol or what have you, you notice they stick around and they stick around teaching people the wrong way. Then they'll go into a meeting and they'll say, Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I showed her this way or that way. After they have gotten the information on how to do it the right way. Now they want to say so-and-so, well, she's been doing it wrong the whole time. So-and-so shows up and says, listen, she told me 
but you know, the veteran employee got ranked, the veteran employee stays late or, you know, shows up early. The veteran employee knows a few things more than other people. They get to stay and that person ends up either looking for another job or end up losing their job because somebody did it the wrong way. Now I'm going to give you just a little bit of information that the Lord said is going to end up promoting people is going to end up giving them much money. Okay. Hang on. What you're going to do is you're going to find out what people are doing wrong at your workplace. You're going to find out what they're doing wrong in the boardroom. You're going to find out what they're doing wrong when it comes to the paperwork. You're going to look for every situation, everything, every process, anything that a group or an individual is doing wrong. Then you're going to calculate up the savings when one does it right. Okay. Come on. That's somebody's <laughs> wisdom today. Hallelujah. Somebody is going to get paid. So once again, Walking with the Lord, God is shining the light, not just on relationships, not just on, you know, the things that we pray to him about, but also those things that we don't always, you know, think about because, well, I don't get it or I don't understand. Well, the Lord says, and all you're getting, get some understanding. And it's not just about reading the word of the Lord, right? It's also about talking to people who know more than you. It's about going into organizations that other people would not be interested in going to, to learn more. It's about putting your money aside to get more knowledge on something. So yes, you're going to have to pay some teachers. <laughs> the freebies on YouTube aren't always going to, you know, give you the information that you need. Well, that is all for today. Take that token of wisdom, Lord Jesus, and do something with it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Please do check the description box for anything that might be of interest. You've been listening to YouTube, Enum Enterprise 7. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Blessings to you.